You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to Work Out of Change. Let's talk about men in the female's bathrooms. Bro, and I can assure you that my four-year-old and my two-year-old daughters will not change in front of biological men. This is ridiculous. I don't care what party you are a part of. If you think that we're all equal and the same biologically, you've literally lost your mind. And when my two daughters work hard in the sport, work hard in their craft to be the best that they can be amongst other women, they will compete against other women. I owe Victoria and Olivia and every other young lady in this country that. If you think I'm wrong, I am not the problem. I can assure you. We have an opportunity in this country to get this right in 2024 so we can stop all of this foolishness. And I can assure you that my four-year-old and my two-year-old daughters will not. There's another person who goes on into this uh, conference that they're having, and he talks about how to resolve the situation that this man was talking about. We should, I bet you give the mic up just a little bit. We should have bathroom stalls, right, in the locker room, right? So we should have this area. So you go into the bathroom, and there will just be a divide. There'll be girls over here, men over here. And that should just change all this issue. You know what that sounds like? Two separate bathrooms, two separate locker rooms. He said something in the beginning that I think a lot of us just have to acknowledge. Saying that men can change in women's locker rooms is just insane. I mean, we just have to come out and say it. I know we like to tiptoe around and play the, well, I know how you can see it. It's just insane at this point, man. It just makes no sense. We are at the point where it's hard for us not to say that. It's hard to just come out and say, a man being a woman, no, that's insane. Oh, a trans a trans woman can have a period even though she doesn't, have, I mean, even though he doesn't have a uterus, that's insane. We just don't want to say it because it feels like we're putting stuff on people. We are so soft now. And like I said, this is not just, oh, random kids being soft. It's all of our faults. It's all of our faults. Because what happened is the generations before mine and before that one, they were going through hard living. And even generations, I'm talking about people who are in their 90s, you know, they went through hard living. Life was a little bit harder. There was more going on. You had... You know, you did have your segregations, you did have your fights, you did have your real wars and stuff like that. And so people have been through real hardships and it's just hard for them to always want to keep fighting. So what happens is life got easier and we started to see things quarrel that calm down a little bit more. We just stopped caring. At some point when this the whole trans thing was coming up and I know people be like, trans people have been here since 1865. Okay, cool. That's fine. But at the same time, when it started to rise and they started asking for not rights, but privileges, pretty much being able to do whatever they want, we turned our, we just turned away and said, nah, that's not that big a deal. Or, you know, a lot of us were just like, Hush. it was like when I was growing up in my 20s, man. I did not talk about this kind of stuff, even though I was against it. I didn't talk about it because I felt like, man, I just don't want to get into this. I don't want to be in confrontation. I just want to party and have a good time and chill and relax. I just want to go get drunk with my friends and go meet as many girls as possible because that's what it was. That's what we were told to do in our 20s. Relax. Have a good time. Don't get into all this politics. Go live life. But what it ended up doing was dooming us because we ended up doing that from the day we turned 20 to the day we were like 37, 38. We did it for too long. You talk about 18 years of just chilling back and not getting into politics. So by the time we finally turned our head around and said, hey, wait a minute. It was too late. Next thing you know, they were already having the drag queen story times. But by the time we decided to finally turn our head around and go, wait, 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 what's going on? Once we finally put down the bottle, put down the blunt and stop getting high every second. Then we start realizing what's really going on. And now here we are. And now we have to say what's really true. That this is insane. It's crazy at this point. 
I, I just where I'm at. I I hate that I have to talk about this like every single day, as if I have to really give into this reality and this delusion by saying they them and all this other stuff. But we're here, and I have to take it seriously. So I talk about it seriously. But in my head, I won't lie to you. Sometimes, I'm just like man, this is just wild. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. But it's the everyday grind. Everyday grind. This is not the first situation like this. People have talked about other stuff that they thought was wild. Here we are today. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think it's, it's to the point where we just start saying this is insanity and just talk about it at nauseum, no matter what chance we get. And I think it's just about where I'm at. I'm going to talk about it every single day. I don't care what people think. And people get on here like, oh, he makes his trans content. Okay, cool. I make content about other stuff, but fine. If that's what you want to come over here and that's all you think I make content about, fine. I'll make it every single day until we finally start to realize that we need to take a step back. I'll do it every day until then. You'll see videos every single day on this channel until then. Because they talk about it every single day. So I'm going to talk about it every single day. And we'll argue as long as we have to. But we're going to come to a resolution somehow. Somebody's going to have to back down eventually. I don't know who that's going to be. But I know which, right, which side is right. And I'm sure you do too. Let me know in the comment section down below. Goodbye.